Hi, welcome to our channel True Up. Today we shall discuss China's graphene breakthrough, Chinese genius Chao Yuan. Faced with a semiconductor prohibition in the United States, Huawei must recruit more indigenous brains for chip manufacturing. That is why Huawei has released its talent strategy. Chao Yuan was fortunately recruited in that scheme by Huawei. For many years, Chao Yuan has been intrigued with the physics sector. Nature, a world-renowned magazine, published four of his essays. His contribution to Chinese physics is significant. Let us now go on to his tale in Chinese physics. Many people cannot afford the world-renowned magazine Nature, but for Chao Yuan, it is a piece of cake. Many people may not comprehend nature. Let alone how tough it is to have their studies published in nature. Let me provide you a concrete example. Wuhan University published only one nature in 2018. Many people may grasp nature's authority in this way. Many scientists are happy to have had works published in nature. But Chao Yuan, who is only 24 years old, is a regular visitor. Chao Yuan was a model for Chinese academia after publishing two essays in this publication. Many people used to say that the post 90s were the losing generation. But it now appears that the post 90s have become China's backbone. During the outbreak, many post-90s volunteers offered to help Wuhan, and medical personnel even returned to Wuhan by bicycle. The youngest, like the Sichuan forest fireman, was just 23 years old when he gave his life to ensure the protection of people's property. And Chao Yuan is a role model for the post-90s generation, utilizing his skills to support a big country's backbone. Chao Yuan has been in high school since he was a youngster. And he only read in junior high for one year. He would chose anything he enjoys after learning. He spent an afternoon in Huiqiangbai, Shenzhen, studying resistance. Furthermore, he has demonstrated a passion and interest in physics since he was a youngster. He not only established a laboratory at school, but he also established a laboratory at home. Chao Yuan began preparing experimental materials once the facility was formed. However, the price of silver nitrate was too exorbitant, forcing Chao Yuan to halt. However, for the physical dream in his head, he sought a way out and refused to stop there. Chao Yuan finally turned to gaze at my mother's jewelry. Chao Yuan immersed his mother's bracelet in nitric acid, resulting in silver nitrate through displacement reaction. The silver nitrate was acquired, and Chao Yuan earned his mother's wrath as a result. Chao Yuan has also been other people's child since he was a child. This plague impacts not just his primary school friends, but also his university, master's, and PhD classmates. Xiao Yuanke is a junior at the University of Science and Technology of China, but his classmates are all smart teens from all across China, talented individuals who are not swayed by anybody, but Xiao Yuan is dubbed a monster by these geniuses. When the reporter interviewed Xiao Yuan, he stated, the only difference between me and other people is that I bypass the dull middle school stuff. If the phrase Versailles literature existed at the time, Chao Yuan would have been at the top of the list, Chao Yuan, the beast, is certainly admirable. Chao Yuan received the Guimorua Scholarship in 2014, the highest prize available to a Chinese university undergraduate. Chao Yuan is a graduate student at Oxford University and a PhD candidate at MIT, both of which are world-renowned institutions. Chao Yuan, today's outstanding scholar, has begun to make an academic presence. Chao Yuan was able to swiftly rise to prominence in academia precisely because he solved a century-old physics puzzle. Many issues remain unsolved in the physical world due of the limits of materials and technology. The physics community has long had the problem of excessive loss in the energy conversion process unanswered in the field of energy conversion. ASA result. The advancement of electrical technology faces significant constraints. Because current develops resistance as it flows through the semiconductor element, a significant quantity of heat is created during chip operation. And the superconductor has become the key to resolving these issues. Various countries throughout the world have committed a lot of money, materials, and labor in the last century to advance the development of superconducting technology however, the impact is limited. Prior to Chao Yuan, scientists had discovered superconducting technology in a low-temperature environment but were unable to put it into reality. Chao Yuan found in 2017 that when the two layers of graphene moved, the material produced superconductivity. This significant breakthrough enabled room-temperature superconductivity. 
Chao Yuan's abrupt appearance is akin to a firecracker blooming in the physical world. Superconducting Technology Advancement Chao Yuan released two papers on NatRu after making this significant discovery in 2017. There was a big disruption in the realm of physics at the moment. Major Chinese media outlets rushed to report on Chao Yuan's incident at the time, and one story was published. In one fell sweep, Chao Yuan addressed the dilemma that had tormented the globe for 107 years. Nature's assessment of Chao Yuan is as follows he is, in essence, a craftsman. In his leisure time, he photographs the night sky with his own camera and binoculars. Parts of these equipment are generally spread about his workplace. Chao Yuan really solved a century old physics issue. When Nature received an article on how to create superconductivity in graphene from Chao Yuan's team at the time, it was published without typesetting. Chao Yuan authored two additional works about nature at the age of 24. What intellectuals admire is, in fact, incredibly basic for Chao Yuan. His supervisor and he both signed the first piece of work. Chao Yuan and his colleagues, for example, extended the properties of magic angles to other two-dimensional study systems by changing the torsion angle in this work. This study's findings have aided in the investigation of the linked morphology of twist angle and electric field regulation in multi-flat band twisted superlattices that he and his crew are signed on the second piece of paper. This article's research object has been updated to hexagonal boron nitride, HBN, packed MATBG. A tomographic picture of the Lando energy level in the quantum Hall state was obtained using a nanotip scanning superconducting quantum interference device, squid on tip and a local change map was generated, Chao Yuan authored four publications in the world's most prestigious scientific journals at a young age. That's fantastic, and he represents a new generation of Chinese backbone, Chao Yuan, my name is Chao Yuan, and I am Chinese. I suppose everyone must have learned a book called I Am a Chinese when I was younger, and now that I think about it, I still have a feeling of national identification, and Chao Yuan truly executed I Am a Chinese. He had two publications published in Nature in a row. He was only 24 years old when he solved the century-old physics puzzle. Chao Yuan is a sought-after person in many nations because to his superb Chao Yuan. Many countries have extended various olive branches to Chao Yuan. Many people may be hesitant despite of welfare assistance or the allure of green cards. Yuan Chao many teachers hastened to remain when they went overseas for graduate school and PhD studies, when these guys approached Chao Yuan, he told them, what green card, I don't care. I just want to go back to China, Chao Yuan's mentor at the University of Science and Technology of China, on the other hand, advised that he chose a foreign nation. According to Professor Zhang Changdan, the United States is undoubtedly strong in science and technology. It is simpler to perceive the stars in Chao Yuan's head where his bigger universe resides. Chao Yuan declined Zheng Chang'an's offer and elected to return to China. He hoped that Chao Yuan's choice was spot on. In China, he could glimpse the stars in his heart and contribute to the advancement of science and technology. The young is powerful, and so is the nation, the youth is intelligent, and so is the country, and the youth is rich, and so is the country. Today, China has become the world of the post-90s, and the post-90s continue to send offers us optimism, China now is making little steps toward the same. Too many young individuals, such as Chao Yuan, have formed the backbone of China's future in this process. They played a significant part in fulfilling the Chinese ideal. Chao Yuan, a rising star in the Chinese scientific community, used his brilliance, wisdom, and passion in the topic he loves, Chinese science and technology. Continue your journey. Chao Yuan's achievement is now more about China's prosperity than his own. I hope that more and more Chinese individuals, like Chao Yuan, would shine in the fields they love, near to the stars in their hearts. Thanks for watching our video. We would appreciate it if you subscribed our channel and gave us a thumb. See you.